Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about how to make an AWS server for sneaker botting using AYCD generator. Now this is part of the AYCD toolbox package which costs $30 a month. This is pretty much everything you get in the package. You get the generator, one click, profile converter, spoof and resale manager. But yeah, $30 a month. Use code GINGER if you want like a $5 discount. Decent. But let's get straight into actually how to make a server using the generator. This I believe is the easiest and best way to make a sneaker server using AWS because it's just so much easier than using the AWS terminal and platform. This just makes the whole process so much nicer. This is how I make my servers and I'm just going to show you literally exactly what I do because it is so easy. So this is a generator and as you can see we have four tabs on the side here and this is just essentially why it's so easy because it's how you do everything. First thing you want to do is head down to this thing here your credentials and it supports so many different types of servers so although i'm creating this for an aws server it supports as you can see here aws azure DigitalOcean, gcp linode linode i don't know how to pronounce that and upcloud so literally any provider you can get i mean services like digital ocean i know you can get like a free starting credit so you can literally have a free sneaker server using this um and you'll see how easy it is so what you want to do first of all i'm creating this for aws so you want to go to create and then you'll see it asks for the name access key id and then secret key so first of all you need to go to your aws dashboard which should look something like this as you can see jeffers up there aws management super simple to create an aws account if you've got an amazon account you'll probably also have an aws account something like that head up here so mine's jeffers and you want to go to my security credentials now some things will be blurred out when i'm doing this but you'll get the gist of it so you want to go to access keys here and you want to create a new access key now this will be blurred out but from here you'll get your access key id and you'll also get a secret key but it's not displayed and you can't actually access this again it'll download to your computer and you need to keep that safe simply all you want to do is put your access key there and then your secret key in there as well as the name and you'll have your key mine is there as you can see i've called it george jefferson because that's my name and that is literally all you need to do to actually get your aws details into here from then on, it is so simple. So we go back to the actual generator kind of cog tab and we go file, create, and this is the generation dashboard. On AWS, you have to go through so many more pages. This is it, right? This is just a tab, a little window, and you work it. So first of all, we can name this. So let's say we wanted to go for a USA drop. So I'm gonna call this USA server. And you can also call it a category. This is how AYCD works. So I could call this just USA. Or let's say let's say i wanted to call this na for north america that will create a category so provider we are using aws as our provider and i'm using the credentials the secret key etc of george jefferson i only want to create one now this is the region so i'm obviously because i'm running north america and i want to create a usa server i'm going to go for us east one that is also where i believe shopify servers are hosted so if you're botting Shopify, that's a really good region to go to because you'll be the quickest. Now, machine type. This is probably the main thing you want to look at because this is how expensive it is and also how powerful it is. So there are two things you want to consider. Now, first of all, having a server is super cheap. I mean, you look at the prices on these, you're never going to be spending even the most powerful one with 192 gigabytes of RAM. That's how these work, by the way. So the first number here on CPU is cores and the next number is amount of RAM. So even the most expensive one you can find which what like eight dollars just quickly nine dollars 192 gigabytes of ram you will literally never use that doing sneaker botting unless you are running like without exaggeration like fifty thousand tasks probably even more a hundred thousand um but you, you'll literally never need to do that so something for a decent setup this would work fine for 1.5 dollars an hour i mean in pounds that's about a pound an hour i want to say something like that yeah so i just checked that's about a pound an hour which is really good because a drop is never going to last more than three hours ish and 16 cores 30 gigabytes of ram you can also use this for a bot like tsb when botting sneakers they are very resource intensive but we are going to go for the super cheap one because as always the budget for this video doesn't extend to you know more than a dollar so if you do want to help out, be sure to like the video so it can get in the algorithm and I can actually afford to run a decent server. So here's the tendency. So we can either run on a dedicated instance or a shared hardware instance. I'm going to run on a shared because I don't really care. I don't need a whole dedicated server. Storage size. Again, you can do whatever you want here. This is just how much storage you actually want. So bots can be quite big, but I don't think you'll ever use over 100 gigabytes. I'm going to stick with 50 because... I, I, I won't use more than 50. 
Now, one really cool feature about this is the destroy later. So if you didn't know about servers, the way they work is when you stop running it, there's two options. You can stop, which is essentially just closing your window and stopping a server, but the data is still retained and this will still charge you. So even though the server is not on, the data is being retained and it's actually costing you money. So even when the server stopped, it's literally costing you money. The way you change this is by destroying it. So you need to understand the difference between stop and destroy, because if you do not destroy it, it will cost you money. So one cool thing you can do here is destroy later. So if you forget about it, whatever, you can just destroy 24 hours. It will never cost you more than that times 24, which is a really nice kind of safe fail if anything happens, if you forget. So, or even for a drop, just forget about it. Just put four in and you're good. Super simple, but I'm not because I'm going to destroy it right after this video. Now, you can go to server type, let's run 2019 because, hey, you know, let's stay up to date. I have no idea what the difference is. Now, instance images. Now, this is really cool. So, you can essentially create a server, create an image of it, and essentially what this does, and this takes all the kind of programs on it, puts it on a, a disk, and essentially next time you're creating a server, you can put all of those programs back on it again. So, as you can see here, you can use it to create a server instance, Instance images preserve installed programs and can be used to create full copies of server instances. So let's say on a server you had Ganesh, Cyber, and Soul AIO installed, and you create an image of that, which I'll show you how to do. You can instantly load that back on, and as you can see, I've got one there, bots, with all my bots on, so I can just create a server super fast, boom, all my bots on it, start up, and we are good to go. Now, the next thing is time zone. Uh, we're just going to go European Central Time, although can we go BST? No. Also, what's really nice is AYCD, they also have install Google Chrome, install Discord, install AYCD Toolbox, disable Internet Explorer security. They can do all that for you, but we are just going to hit create, and you'll see in the top right, that is initializing. So that is creating a server. It's going to start to cost us money, but again, it's like nothing. However, it will say initializing for a fair while. So I'm going to cut to when it's actually up and running. Now, while it's initializing, you can right click on here and this is where you can see everything. So if you have loads of servers, you can move them about. You can sync, start, stop. Here's the destroy. You can set the destroy later. So when it's on a schedule, you can also export the server. I guess if you want to put it in another program like Royal TS, uh, you can do it through that. And also, lastly, you have a create an instance image, which is what we're going to do in a second. So there we go. It took a few minutes, but as you can see, it's running. And we can actually click this plug button here. And this will basically show us everything that we need. We can go ahead and press connect. And you connect using pretty much any remote desktop software. My default using is the Microsoft one you can get from the store, but you can also use Amazon's. I'm just going to press continue. And you just put in the username and password. So if I quickly go back to my AYCD instance. You can see it's here, so administrator, and then this. So you paste the password in and type in administrator and press connect. Connect anyway, because obviously there's a like a full-on connection there that we have to confirm. And just like that, we have connected to our AWS server. Now, it will take a little bit to set up because it's literally only just booted up, but it's that easy. Now, this is the, uh, I'm acting as if it was my first time. However, I'm going to put a few programs on here and then I'm going to show you how to create a disk image so it's faster, although it will take a little bit longer because it's got to install the programs every time to start up. Bear in mind, this one already has AYCD installed, Discord, Google Chrome, all that stuff, which normally doesn't happen. So as you'll see, it's doing its whole setup thing, but we are connected and that is the main thing and it was so easy. So here we are. It's literally up. I mean, this looks like a normal computer, right? However, if I head over to Google Chrome, It'll be a little bit laggy because it is in obviously North America and we didn't pick the best stats on it. You can do better. I'm going to go yes. And let's head over to fast.com and have a little speed test. Right. This is what our speed test is looking like. But this is really the advantage of a server. First of all, the accessibility, the fact that you could run this on a really bad laptop. You know, it doesn't matter. You could even run this on a Mac. So if you are using a Mac and you want to use bots, you can use a server and literally have access to super speeds while you know, on a terrible computer that doesn't even support the right bot format. Decent internet speed was a bit patchy though. And if I go to show more info and we look at the upload speed, that will also be crazy. This is much better than any internet anywhere. But obviously you have the portability, you have the functionality for Mac people, actually you can run the bot software. You have the incredible internet speed. You also have the better hardware. So, you know, it'll actually perform better at doing tasks than probably your normal computer. Uh, but yeah, that is literally how to make a server. Now, I'm going to install some bots quickly just to show you what, you know, it would look like in a real scenario. To keep this fairly short, I've just installed Burst AIO down there. So we're actually going to close this right now, literally pressing exit and disconnect. We can go to create instance image here. 
or we can go to this disk and we can go create and I'm going to call this just burst provider all that stuff there in the server instance because that's the one we're running and I'm going to press create and it'll take about 10 minutes to create a server instance image please stand by that's fine so it's basically just going to download everything although it's pretty much the same but we just would burst on this is essentially how it works obviously put in all your bots on there any other software you'll need as you saw this comes with AYCD discord all that stuff but this is just going to download it in an image so next time when you're creating a server here you can go instance image and there'll be you know your bots and you can create it like that and you'll literally have everything super easily you can't normally do this this easily with an aws server but instances are fairly you know they're, they're they're a thing um but this just makes it so much easier especially with the pricing there that's literally my favorite thing if you haven't used generator before but you've used servers on aws that is fine you can actually go here import and then you can import and it'll search all it'll go through every single server and it'll import existing instances. I'm going to cancel that because obviously it'll just see mine, which I've already imported. It doesn't matter if you already make a server in AWS and then want to import it in here. It can still do that perfectly fine. But as you can see, AYCD generator does so much stuff. It also does, you can generate DC proxies, cookies, accounts, Shopify variants. I've just focused on the servers today. If you want me to go over kind of more AYCD software, do leave a comment below because it's quite interesting. But yeah, let's wait for this instance to finish and let's see what it's like. The image has been created literally just like that. So now next time you go to create a server, as I showed you, it's there. You can then create it. We'll install all of that stuff. We'll still install all of this. And like I said, we'll be a bit longer. But yeah, that's pretty much how you create AWS servers using AYCD. This is the most simple method, and I think it's the best method to show you, because if you're going to be creating loads of servers, this is probably the best way, and the money you'll save using AWS and kind of these servers compared to a, you know, a server that you pay monthly for, I think this is a much better option. And yeah, if you guys have any other opinions, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to read them, and I'll see you in another video.